All right. Happy Monday, everybody. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's going to be a great week on the Coach's Corner, and we love seeing your smiling face. Uh, Melinda's over there doing the fist pump. She's getting ready for the day. Um, no, it's good to see everybody. Coach? Hey, one happy birthday that I know of this morning, Coach. Oh, and let's do it. Anita. Is that right, Anita? Anita, is it day of your birthday? I think it is. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, Anita. We love you. We're grateful for you. We are so blessed that you were born on this day. So thank you. Have a great day. Guys, we're going to start it off this morning because I, I want to challenge everybody to do something. Okay? I want to get the word out about the coach's corner. So I'm going to ask for something selfish this morning. If you're watching this live, Myra's going, oh, my goodness, and Andrea, what is he going to ask? <laughs> so we're going live. You're watching the recording. You're on the Zoom right now. Here's the thing. If you're, if you're a member of Instagram or Facebook, I want you to tag, like take a picture of this this morning and then tag in your stories of Instagram Tag Myra Miles, Andrea Rosser, and Brent Palmer. And we're going to go and we're going to share your, your post back on our stories, right? We're, we're going to – so I, I'd like to see everybody's phone unless you're on your phone. Like, let's, let's, let's take a picture together. I know this is crazy. I know this is crazy. We've been a little interactive here, okay? But you know what? When you're building a community, you got to get the word out of the community, right? you got to let the world know – what we're so glad to have in our hands and we have a beautiful community so our word for today is being accountable so can i account on you doing this right <laughs> i hope so so the word for today is accountable and I'm, I'm i'm joking a little bit but i am so happy you're here and it's gonna be a great week if you look at this word it's the quality or state of being accountable especially especially obligations or willingness to accept responsibility. You know, there's been so many things in my life, looking back on, reflecting on this word, thinking about it, to where I can tell you there's been things in my life I have not been accountable for. I have not been willing to face the obligations or accept responsibility. I am guilty. I am flawed as a human, okay? But I'll tell you this, account, being accountable is so super important with the different areas of your life. You know, how many of you can think, or maybe you're in right now, a profession to where you got an uphill climb? You come in, there's a lot to be done, and it's an uphill climb, but you got to be accountable to reach the peak, right? Or maybe you're getting ready for an Ironman like Lance is, right? It's an uphill climb to get ready for an Ironman, right? But you know what? You got to stay accountable to yourself in a lot of areas to get to that pinnacle point, that top of the Pikes Peak Mountain to stand up there and say, yes, I did it. I did it. And so I looked at steps to be accountable, right? Steps to be accountable to myself, Brent Palmer. And you, you to yourself, number one, we got to be willing to muster the courage to see it. Like, we must be able to see the change that needs to take place in us. That's number one. That's the first step. I got to be able to see. Maybe it's that I'm pudgy. <laughs> you know, I'm talking to myself, by the way. I, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm going, Brent, you have gotten pudgy. Like, like you sides, all this stuff. Like you got to first admit it to yourself and muster the courage to go, you know what? I've got to change. Number two, finding the heart to own it. And sometimes this is tough. Steps to being accountable. Number two, you got to find the heart to own. You know, it's an old adage that says, if you are not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. 
So if I'm looking around going, well, it's just stress, work. I mean, I'm just kind of like, I've just put on some extra baggage, some side handles because of everybody else. I'm not owning it. I'm making an excuse. And so guess what? Owning it and saying, you know what? I've got the solution. The solution is leveling up my life. The solution is getting in that community. The solution is drinking a gallon of water a day, taking my supplements, getting out and jogging, maybe going for a walk. Like there's solutions and I'm going to own it. Number three, obtaining the wisdom to solve it. How are you going to solve it? Ask the question to yourself, what else can I do? What else can I do? to take action on this behavior that I want to one day stay in accountable, get to the top of the mountain and whatever that is in my life. And then the last number four, exercising the means to just do it. You know, so many times we think about it, we talk about it, we dream about it. We, 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 but we just don't do it. Right. Right. And sometimes we just got to simply get out there and do it. And it might be ugly at first. We might be crawling at first. We might be, you know, it's an uphill battle at work, but you know what? I just kind of got to get in there, get into the paperwork, get after it, just do it. Right. And that is the start to something special. If you don't do it, you will never reap the valuable benefits of being fully accountable. That's just the bottom line. And so I stole the quote from Coach Myra Miles this morning. I stole her quote. <laughs> and since I get to go first, I get to use it, right? <laughs> we both love this quote, but it's by Catherine Pulse. She said, at the end of the day, we are accountable to ourselves. Our success is the result of what we do. And at the end of the day, I want to tell you this. I'm going to turn it to coach. If we're not accountable to ourself, if we're not accountable to ourself, we can't help anyone else. We got we to gotta put the life vest on first, the oxygen mask on first, and we got to be accountable to UNO, number one. And then if we're accountable to ourselves, we can go help others. Coach, I'm going to turn it to you. I'm on, I'm fired up this morning. I'm excited. I love it. That's the way to be fired up. Great message. Great <laughs> message. Of course, Monday is my favorite day of the week. Always has been, always will be. So just gives us an opportunity to start off on the right foot. And I hope that we're all going to be more accountable and, and hold ourselves a little bit more to the accountability to others. So <clears throat> I'm going to talk about accountability and kind of give you some lists. And we'll go through this very quickly. Accountability is when an individual or even a department in a company experiences consequences for their performance or actions. Accountability is essential for an organization and for individuals and even for a society. Without it, we know what happens. It is difficult to get people to assume responsibility, to get and assume ownership of their own individual actions because they think that they will not face any consequences. So we have to hold others accountable. And again, when I say this, I'm starting with me. Every finger that I point, there's three putting right back at me. So I have to be held accountable to myself. So how can we hold ourselves accountable? Everybody's going to have a different answer probably, but let's start with our mindset. In order to start holding ourselves accountable, we have to have the right mindset. And I believe that mindset has to be positive. I don't care how bad your weekend was. I don't care how bad your morning was. If you stumped your toe getting out of the shower this morning, change your mindset and let's go. Hold ourselves accountable. Then we have to establish a long-term goal. Okay, a long term goal. If I tell myself, okay, or I tell Brent, Andrea, Hill, all you looking on the screen, in one year, in one year, 
I am going to have 15 more pounds off of me. Okay. Now I've got to hold myself accountable because I've done put it out there to, to everybody. Okay. Is it doable? Absolutely. If I get my mindset right. Now I've got to get short term goals in place in order for me to make, get the long term goals established. So now I'm going to have to be accountable for doing things every single day the right way if I want to be successful and be accountable but set short-term goals. I know y'all have heard me say this. You have to celebrate your short-term goals and your wins. I don't care how big and large they are. I laugh at myself because when I get up and make my bed up, I go, at a girl, I'm celebrating because I'm getting it out of the way. I've said that a lot on this show. You have to celebrate the small things. Then you have to set a timeline for yourself. Okay, if you set your short term goals to reach your long term goals and that in that year period, you can do it. You can do it. You got to create list. And you, here's where we're all probably not really good. Got to finish one task before we start another task. I mean, that's huge. Now, I'm a, a pretty good multitasker. But I always, if I get too much going before I complete something, something falls through the crack. And I'm having to hold myself even more accountable. And I always keep track of our progress. So now let's think about leadership, okay? What does accountability mean in leadership? Every single one of us are leaders in some capacity, in a job, at home, whatever it is with your family. Leaders take personal accountability, and when we do take that personal accountability, we're willing to answer for the outcome. Hold on, Josh. We're good. So I'm going to be accountable to you as your partner right here in the coach's corner. <laughs> That's some good stuff. You're rolling, coach. So I want to remind everybody as you're looking through at Coach's screen in the back, you can't. You might just be able to barely see what's in the back of her. And I'm going to get her to talk maybe one morning about this. But all of those, some of them are professional helmets, college football helmets, footballs. And when I went into her office the other day, I was like, they all represent relationships that she's built over the years. So powerful. Okay, sorry about that, Mr. Man. He, I love him. He's the most energetic guy I've ever been around in my life, honestly. And I didn't think anybody was more energetic than Brent Palmer. But this cat, he's on it. And, buddy, he holds us all accountable, and I love that. So let me just kind of get going, uh, finish up real quickly with you. You know, accountable leaders do not, and I put capital letters, do not, they do not blame others when things get off the track. So if you're an accountable leader in whatever organization you're in, you don't start pointing fingers and blaming others if you want to be looked at as an accountable person. An accountable leader always, always takes responsibility. To wrap up today, let me just say, if we want to be a more accountable individual and a leader, we've got to focus on the four Ps real quickly. People, focus on their strengths because people matter. People matter. Number two, purpose. Advance the group's vision. Help them see the vision. Focus on achieving goals. Empower others to perform. Three, performance. Focus on your team's performance. Again, when I say that, I'm starting with me. Focus upon your team. It will improve morale. Morale is everything. And progression. We must keep moving forward until our goals are achieved. Now, Coach said that we, we had the same quote this morning when I was reading it, and I just got tickled. But I went in there, and I found me another one from Jason Kidd, who is a really good basketball player, and I think he actually coaches in the NBA now. But he said championship teams are built on being prepared, playing unselfishly, and being held accountable. That's it in a nutshell. So – Anyway, let's be accountable today. Love you guys. So good to see you and look forward to seeing you in the morning.
Everybody have a great day. Coach, thank you so much for those words. Let's have an amazing Monday. Let's find somebody today. Make them have a better better day because we showed up. Love you guys. Grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Thank